I'm Johnny K. I turn on that TV set of mine, settle in my favorite chair and I recline. Now you may think it's asinine, but it's all mine. But nine at nine. Yeah, that's good do stuff that for us. Yeah. Uh, number nine, uh, a lot of people reached out with some suggestions of their own after I had a list last week of athletes and TV commercials. Uh, but this one stood out. It's from 1984. The goalie for the Minnesota North Stars is a Frenchman named Gil Malash, and the commercial is for a pizza joint. This is Russ Bohatty for Ron and Alley's Pizza. Out on the ice with North Star goaltender Gilles Malay. Ross, that last shot went in, but this I'll save. Because I'm French doesn't mean I don't like Italian food. <laughs> I go to Ron and Alley's and I love it. So why don't you do like North Star goaltender Gilles Malash does? Go to Ron and Alley's <laughs> Pizza at the corner of White Bear Avenue and Minnehaha <laughs> in St. Paul. Or call 735-4944. That's 735-4944. Wow. Looks like Czech Coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the same, yeah. <laughs> Right? And I like how we don't get a single shot of the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> just... That was the take they went with, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. yeah. All right, number eight. We have some great stuff from our favorite British gardener, Gerald oh, Stratford. Big he big grows veg. big veg. Yeah, he does. Look Good at yes. that carrot. Wow. wow. And, and right here's, here's Gerald Holy. from an earlier post. He has great news. Uh-oh. Good morning. This is a new suit I'm just trying on for yeah. the first time yeah. to wear on the release of my new book. I thought it would be appropriate. Cheers. Well, look at wow. the wow. veg, man. Well, right. He's got a he's got to be fancy too now that he's popular. Yeah. Got to have yeah. dress yeah. clothes. Oh, he has a new book out. There it is, big veg. My tips for growing big veg to be proud of. Oh, nice. Isn't that, oh, that nice. was nice. He looked great in it. Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah. He ought to try gardening in yeah, that, right? Maybe so. Good for him. Okay, number seven. Uh, way back in the 19th century, penny dreadfuls were cheap, popular horror stories. They may have been scary, but parents liked that it got their kids to read more. They were typically just about 12 pages long and published weekly. They featured characters like Sweeney Todd or bloodthirsty vampires, and they cost about a penny, hence the name. And in, by 1870, more than a million penny dreadfuls were sold. Historians say they were the Victorian equivalent of video games. Wow, those must have been some pretty boring times. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great show, though, on, uh, was it Showtime? Penny Dreadful? It's like set in that era with uh, monsters and stuff. You caught that one, Paul? That's that one. I think you can stream it now, but that's, that's a good right, one. Yeah. Number six, just in time for Halloween, terrifying and large spiders have invaded North Georgia. Whoa. They're called Juro spiders, and they're from Asia. They can grow to three inches across. Oh, they're wow. quite colorful. Yeah, they, are. they build really thick webs that are many feet in diameter. People north of Atlanta say you mow your lawn and by the end you're just covered in webs. <laughs> a guy named Anthony Trendle started a social media account so neighbors can share their experiences with them. For now, people are using sprays, brooms, even fire to get now rid of the webs. Huh? They hope they die off in the cold. And that <laughs> well, there's the, the shot of how big they are. Yeah. In the mm. spring. Well, what, did they say they'll they'll get you? They'll sting you or anything? Well, they'll they'll kill you. Probably yeah. get in your car and take your car also. Right. Yeah. yeah. They'll get you. Bring in the wasps. That will that, solve everything. That solves mm. it. Yeah. Mm. All right. Number five. Did you know that coffee comes from cherries? We all think that coffee comes from a bean, but first, it's a red ripe cherry. The coffee cherry grows on a vine, okay. starting green and then ripening to a nice red. Okay. The coffee bean, as we think of it, is actually the seed inside that cherry. Oh. And there's a thin skin on that seed that comes off when the coffee beans are roasted. The average coffee tree yields about two pounds of coffee beans. That's it? Well, I got to tell you, this has been a... This has been one of the more informative nine at nines we've yeah. had in quite some time, yeah. and we're, what, only halfway through? Yeah, I can't wait send to this, see what one through four yeah, holds. Send this yeah. to the FCC to maintain our license. Uh, 
All right, number four, next time you crack open a bottle of wine with your friends, here's a bit of knowledge to drop on them. About 700 grapes go into a single bottle of wow, wine. That's information. It's according to wine scientists. In case you're wondering, that's about 2.6 pounds I was of grapes mad. per bottle. Love so next it. time your doctor tells you to eat more fruit, you can say you're eating a few pounds a week. Yeah. And technically <laughs> you're not <laughs> lying. <laughs> Get it? Uh, it's funny. Know? All right, this wow, next one better be little... stupid. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of math. There's like a lot of word stories here. All right, uh, number three. Wacky publicity stunts are nothing new. Take, for example, Annie Edison Taylor. No relation to Thomas Edison. She was the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel and survive. Edison was a dance teacher. She chose to do this stunt on October 24th, 1901, her 63rd birthday. That's it's really unbelievable. Late, yeah. I mean. She had hoped to make her rich yeah. and famous, so she had some custom barrel made, including safety straps and a breathing tube. Annie survived her fall, but she had to wait for 20 minutes uh. for the rescue boat to get her out of the contraption. She eventually died, which uh. we all do. She died broke and penniless, so that's the sad part, but hey, for more than a hundred years later, she's still in the uh, record books. That's all that matters. All you senior yeah. citizens out there <laughs> sitting on your computers yeah. and doing jack squat, emailing your kids, forwarding yeah. them stuff. Get off the Facebook yeah. thing and find a barrel and go down the river. Yeah. Live your lives a little bit. Get out there and do something. Go and base jump off the Willis Tower. Yeah, what do you got on. to lose? You're 90. You're, yeah. She was 63. I mean, that, God no, bless. she didn't get any no endorsement deals well, after that. Well, she just got on our show now. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little bit. So it's worth it. It yeah. was worth it. Well, Man, lucky her. well, that is something. that's how you uh, live. That's yeah, how you live. You are right. Number two, here's something uh, pretty to make us all feel good today. This is traditional Japanese paper art by oh. Erica Kiri. It's a paper cutout, and she holds it up against flowers in nature. And then kaboom. Wow, he is yeah. right. Big kaboom. Kind of gives it the effect of, uh, of yeah. looking like stained glass. It sure right. does. Look does that. Yeah. Look at the people this. are loving Bing. it. I, yeah, I'm loving <laughs> it. So she started taking pictures, and now, All right. thank the heavens, you can buy them as postcards or as decorations on a t shirt. Uh, or a tote bag. I've been looking to get a new tote yeah. bag myself. So. Father's Day is right around the corner. Yeah, cool. I love tote bags. Nice. Uh, just follow the links on her Twitter. Just gorge. That is yeah. gorge. Just <laughs> gorge. Right? Total gorge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's right. lovely. Number one, how about an illusion from one of the greats, Doug Henning? Yes. Right. This is from a special called. Doug Henning's World of Magic from 1982. It has Angelian and Bruce Jenner. Right. Really? Yeah, but here's looking at you. Even if I was looking at you, I never would have saw how that was done anyway. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Remember, this is a magical house, and anything in it can become magical if you just believe. Great blouse. You mean, uh, this apple's magical? Hand. You take the candle, hold it right there. I'm going to try to catch the flame right down here in the mirror. They say that things look better by candlelight. If that be the case, now things should look twice as good. Well, well, what wait, I just saw her blow it out. Wow. Uh, right. wait, magic house. Let's see it again. Oh, no, That's the, the magic of here. Doug Henning. A beautiful bird, look, in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, I see that. Certainly, but you realize, of course, that this bird is just made of paper, correct? It can't really do the things that real birds You're do. You're a natural performer, too. I yes. thought you said this right. was a magical house and anything is possible. Well, almost anything, but I can't make a paper bird fly, but perhaps this oh. is the next best oh. thing. Watch as I again what? try to oh my peel God. reflection right off the mirror. Oh, oh my God. What? What kind of devil who is that? What in the world? Uh huh. Great outfits. Uh -huh. Yep. He was. The thing hiding in his mustache? It <laughs> 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 uh. was a lot of rainbows. And yeah. Remember? Yeah. 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 People were a lot happier then. Yeah. We could afford yeah. some yeah. rainbows yeah. on this show. Yeah. I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Some birds, too. <laughs> well, that's well, it. That's there amazing. we go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he had that bird?